steps we have here before we add our water is we're going to be putting our little baskets in and we're going to be hooking the pump up. So with these baskets, the little trick is, you can see they have a cut out. We're just going to squeeze them like that. And we're just going to place them in each slot and then let it go. We'll snap in there. We just want to make sure that this back piece is in behind each one of the, uh, the lips for the tower there. And we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to fill in these spots with the baskets. So we'll be right back and I will show you how to hook up the pump. Okay, here we go. We're going to be hooking the pump up and this is again our final step. Put all the baskets in before we start adding water. Um, this is about the only thing here where I think if you have a second person, um, it's the only step portion here that you really need a second person. You could probably do it yourself. You just reach in here and you grab that blue cord. But you know what? I want to try that. So, because that way we can see. Is, can this be done by one person? Look at that. It sure can. So, heck, I didn't even know that the last time. We did that with two people when we first put one together just to see, you know, how it was. So, there we go. It surprised me. Um, one of the things is, is there is a flow control on this pump that they provide. And again, that's max. And then this was minimum all the way over to the other side. I put it just about halfway, and that seemed to work really well. And again, okay, once you have the pump in, you want the pump to go closer to the edge. And again, that's so you don't create what's called a short, short circuit. If you had it in the center, you have your water coming down from the tower, and you have the pump underneath, so it would be actually kind of grabbing that water there, and you could have actually have pockets of water around the edges that aren't really getting mixed in. Um, there's a hole on the side, and that's where your cord's going to come out. Up towards the top. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, one of the things I found is uh, to, uh, this the tub being full takes about 20 gallons, and that's about 3 inches from the lip. So what I recommend doing is just go ahead and measure down 3 inches from the lip and take like a big Sharpie or something like that or some type of indelible marker and make a line there right where you have this little access panel. That way when you go to refill and everything, there's no guessing about it. You just fill to that mark each time. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to uh, get our hose over here and we're going to fill it up. They recommend that, again, you use unchlorinated water, well water, not water that goes through a softener. Um, there's you know many reasons for those different things. If you have chlorinated water, just let it sit out or put it in you know buckets. You could actually load it in here. Um, just don't put plants in it and drop a couple things of um, drops of lemon juice in there and the citric acid in there will quickly destroy the, um, the chlorine. But if you wanted to, you could fill it and then let it sit for about 24 hours and get rid of the residual chlorine in there. And if you're worried about chlorine, you can just use like a uh, chlorine test kit that you use with your pools to see if there's a residual in there. So we're going to go ahead and we'll fill this up and when we're done with that, we'll come back and we'll show you how to add the nutrients and then start putting plants in. Okay, here we go. We're on our final step here. I uh, just want to point out um, some things to you where um, when you have your pump on, all you want to do is, is the little spout that's at the top of the fountain is. You just want to make sure your water isn't going to pop up. You don't want to hit in the lid and all that. So just make sure that's the thing. And then once you have that down, just you can pop your lid on there. Uh, when you have your water in, you want to make sure that the pH is adjusted. And they recommend between 6.5 and, a half and uh, down to 5.5. So we got ours somewhere around six right now. Uh, this is what they give you. It's a little pH tester, like your pool tester. I have a hard time with them because I have a hard time looking at the colors and trying to figure out which one's which. So uh, what I recommend is get yourself a little electronic um, pH tester that you can use, you know, in the in the water, and you know you can get those, you know, online. There's multiple sources. If you want recommendations, you'll be able to go to our blog. We're going to be having that set up here soon too and uh, look at some of the different ones that I've used in the past, both with our projects like this, as well as uh, when I used to be in the um, uh, environmental health and safety field, um, where you know, I would use them in the field for water quality testing. I've used the multi multiple varieties, different manufacturers, so I can give you some recommendations there. They have what they call, for the fertilizer, tower tonic. They have A and B. You want, once the 20 gallons is in there, uh, they want 400 milliliters of each one. So it's they give you a measuring cup and you're going to put in basically two full measuring cups of each one. And again, since this is, uh, you know, chemical, always wear gloves. You don't want to get anything on your skin. So, you got one of A. You 
Okay, there's two of A. And then you want to mix that up. Uh, what I usually do is, is I would turn the dower on and let it be bubbling down and kind of mixing it on its own before I put plants in there. I don't have this one plugged in yet. Um, so you want to take like a stir stick. I've got one right over here. And you just kind of want to stir it around just a little bit inside there. Again, you don't want to use your hand, but uh, get that stirred up and mixed up a bit. Then we're going to add B. And again, it's going to be 400 milliliters, so one, that's 200, and then another measuring cup full, and another 200, that gives us the 400 we need. So there we go, that's 400 milliliters of each one. And then what I usually do is I'll use the cup, rinse it out inside there. Again. And then they have a little lid, you want to, once you have your fertilizer mix in there, you just want to pop the lid on, keep anything, critters or anything else, and also if light gets in there, it'll start building algae on you, so you want to make sure that's on there. Same thing with your lid, you want to make sure your lid is on good and tight and down because you don't want air leaking in there to cause algae problems for you. So that's it. Now what we're going to be doing is, is we're just going to be plugging this in, hooking it to the timer, putting the plants in, and we're going to build another one here in a second and we'll show you that one too. Thanks a lot. And if you like us, please hit like. If you want to subscribe, hit subscribe. And remember, we're going to have a blog and we'll list that when we have it up and running. Thank you very much.